What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the Gen 7 Sun and Moon Pokebank UU Alpha tier. We haven't explored this tier too much, but today we are using a team that my good friend Dom passed us. He absolutely required that I use this team. So, uh, I don't know anything about it. I just scrolled over it really quickly. Uh, looks pretty standard, but uh, it's got some pretty big threats, so let's jump into it. Hopefully there's a lot of people playing right now. I don't know where we ended up on the ladder. Uh, after I kept playing. Let's actually check that really quickly before we get into the game. Uh, and... Aster... Where am I? 16... 67th. Not bad. Alright, let's go. So, opponent's got all... Oh, <laughs> all past OU threats except for High Dragon. Uh, it's looking like a pretty... Pretty dangerous game, I would to say the least. Uh, I like the Assault Vest Conk Elder. That's very useful, actually. Um, I also like Delmize because it walls Keldeo pretty well, especially that it's also a Salt Vest. Let's lead off with Pillaswine. If he leads off with Keldeo, we have two good switches to it. He's gonna lead off with Jirachi. That's fine as well. Um, <clears throat> what do I have for this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I have for this. Hold on. Uh, let's go into... Um, I can't really... You know what? Let's just go for Rocks. He's gonna go for Iron Head. It's gonna do a lot. Do we break through the flinch? No, we do not. Uh, let's go for let's go into Delmize, and we're gonna anchor shot whatever comes in. Basically, uh, I don't know if he's gonna want to stay in on a potential uh, Shadow Claw. We'll go for the anchor shot here. He may just want to flinch us all the way down, which is fine too. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that. This team is quite slow, uh, but we are gonna get the anchor shot off on the Scizor, which is awesome. We're gonna get a crit right there. I'm assuming he's gonna go for U-turn now, uh, which means we are just going to hit up anchor shot again because he should be faster than us. There it is, and that's definitely banded damage. Now, the good news is that we have a, uh, a banded Talonflame in the back, so uh, it's looking pretty good. It's not priority Brave Bird or anything, but uh, well, unless it's at 100%, which is uh, still doable. I mean, we can definitely pull that off as long as we manage to keep rocks away, which I think he doesn't have a rocker, actually, because his Jirachi is scarfed, it seems, and his, um, his Scizor is banded. So he's going to go into Keldeo here. Uh, I'm actually just going to let this go down and go for a power whip in case for whatever reason he wants to go uh, He wants to set up a sub or anything like that That's probably the play right here as he just goes for icy wind. So good. Good job um, We're going to predict this to be choice and we're gonna go out into pillow swine here. We're gonna set up our rocks uh, It's really gonna help with Kirim uh, weakening Jirachi as well. There's the Kirim. All right. Uh, what do you have for me? What can you even hit me with for super effective? Like maybe Focus Blast, I guess? I'm gonna go for Toxic. Because I don't really need this anyway, so... I mean, it's it's decent for Raikou, but... I'm planning on sweeping with uh, Sharpedo anyway, so if I can weaken this Kirim, that's really good. He's gonna go for Outrage, that's fine. We're gonna go into uh, Conkelder, which should be able to take the Outrage, no problem. Even if it's Bandit, I believe, and we're gonna go for Drain Punch. Uh, okay, never mind, we can't take it. Um... Let's uh, let's just head out into two cannon uh, and see what we can do with this thing. Beak blast, base 100. Uh, use my contact move this turn before I execute. Uh, the attacker is burned. Interesting. Uh, That's okay. This is an interesting attack. Uh, I like just rock blasting here. Oh, it gets supersonic strike. Okay, supersonic sky strike. Excuse me. Let's go for uh, rock blast. As he's just gonna go out into Jirachi, which is a good play. As uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. We're just going to go for the Beak Blast. Uh, because he's going to burn himself if he hits me first. So there we go. There's the burn. Beautiful. He is going to flinch us, but that's fine because he's burned now. Uh, and what we can do is actually just go for a Rock Blast here in case he wants to switch. Uh, he's not doing too much to us. Okay, we actually uh, break through right there, which is kind of not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to break do, uh, through on a different turn and roost up. Uh, which is what I'm going to attempt to do right now. He's going to go for another Iron Head. We are going to break through and roost, that's awesome. Uh, and we are just going to go for another Beak Blast right here. Uh, in case we do break through, of course, once again, he does flinch us, uh, but we're going to go for another Roost here. He goes for another Iron Head, that's fine. There's the Roost, and uh, with the Rocks up, I mean, the Kirim being banded and all, uh, it's pretty pressured. He's got two banded Pokemon on his team. I just keep Roosting. Why do I keep Roosting? Hold on. <laughs> Let me go for another Beak Blast here. Uh, this should knock him out from here. Uh, he's not able to get a flinch, like... Four out of five turns. Uh, four out of, like, eight turns, so that's actually pretty cool. He's gonna go into Raikou now, which I can't really do anything about. Um, what I'm going to do is actually just go for the... How much Spadef do you have? It's not bad. Uh, let's go for the... Let's go for the return. 
as he is seemingly specs from what I can tell okay how do I win this game I think I need to go into Sharpedo and weaken this and then just spam Brave Bird <laughs> maybe and try to crit everything uh, let's go for the protect right here and uh, I don't know we'll go for a waterfall we'll mega evolve and we'll go for a waterfall on the following turn Hopefully it's able to knock him out. Actually, I think Crunch is stronger. Yeah, because it's uh, it's Jaws boosted. Uh, and that actually is able to knock out the Raikou. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Uh, we can hit Keldeo because we have Psychic Fangs. So that's really awesome. Uh, the only thing we can't really hit is Hydreigon. So we'll see. Um, with this Raikou gone, that's one of his, uh, his flying resists gone as well. So, I mean, as long as he doesn't have a Scarfer on his team, it might be Scarfed Keldeo. I'm not sure. Uh, he's gonna go into Kiram actually. That's not too bad for us. Uh, I'm going to go for a Protect to see what he locks himself into. Uh, as he does just go for the Fusion Bolt, which is a good play. We'll go for Crunch here. Weaken this thing severely, and he's gonna go for the Bolt. And uh, then we have to go into Talonflame, and we have to just spam Brave Bird at this point. Uh, and hope we can crit the Hydreigon. That's really our only play. Uh, we're Flame Body actually. I don't know if uh, that was intentional, but this thing is still good with Gale Wings, so... Uh, I'm going to take that off. Uh, we are actually faster than the Keldeo, which is awesome. Can he... Can Hydreigon take a banded Brave Bird? I'm not sure that it can, actually. And I th we, we weakened his Scizor, so we might actually just win here. That would be... W what a turnaround if we actually kill this Hydreigon right here. He might not be able to take this. Okay, he's actually Scarfed, so he's able to outspeed us. He, he was choiced everything on his team. There was not a single Mon that was not choiced on his team. That's insane. Uh, so I'm gonna watch out for that guy the next time we play him, but I gotta gotta be very care careful with uh, sacking off my uh, my Conkelder because it pretty much walls half his team, which is phenomenal. Um, yeah, so that wasn't the best showcase of the team, I don't think. Uh, but uh, Dom, where where the, where the Gale Wings at, man? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> let's see what else we got here. It'd be nice if this thing actually had Ghost Stab. Uh, it'd be very useful, but that's okay. Skill Link is cool. Is Sheer Force better? Uh, Beak Blast doesn't have a secondary effect, really. I don't think it gets boosted by Sheer Force. It's cool that it gets Sheer Force, though. It's a really cool Mon. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to win this one. Talonflame looking like it can put in a lot of work in this game. I need to get my rocks up. That's a priority for me. Uh, so we're going to lead off with Pillow Swine here. As my opponent leads off with Thunderous, this is absolutely fine. Even if he has superpower, he's not doing enough to us. We're just going to get up our rocks. Uh, Grass Knot is only doing half as well. That's a Life Orb hit too. That's amazing. Uh, and then we can just go into Delmize, which is Assault Vest. It'll be able to take any hit from this thing. I can keep my Pillow Swine for Ice Sharding later. It's going to help with the uh, with the Latias. He actually does go for superpower that turn. That's amazing. Uh, and we are just going to go for the Anchor Shot here. He's going to go for the knockoff. He's going to hurt us uh, quite a bit. But he's going to get pretty hit pretty hard with this anchor shot as well. It's considered stab because of Steelworker. Uh, I think he's just going to go for another knockoff, right? Uh, couldn't I just go back into Pillow Swine here and keep my Delmize? What do I need Delmize for, though? I guess if he Scarfed Terrakion and starts spamming close combat, that could be bad. But if I keep my Talonflame healthy, I should be good. I'm going to go back into Pillow Swine here on the knock. Going to lose my Eviolite as a result, but he should go down to this Ice Shard. It is quite powerful. He's going to switch out into Scizor. Good play. Uh, as I'm expecting him to just go for a U-turn. Gonna go for uh, an Earthquake. That looks like banded damage. Why wouldn't you run banded Scizor in this meta? But uh, Thunderous can't even come back in because I do have the uh, the Talonflame. As well, Sharpedo can't be Thunderwaved uh, because of uh, the way Prankster works now. It can't affect Dark types. Uh, so that's really cool. We can get up as... Actually, if we get up as a couple of speed boosts, I think we just win with Sharpedo. <laughs> I just need to weaken his Kirim, which he's going to allow me to do right now. So that's awesome. Uh, we're going to go on out into Conk right here, and I'm not even playing games anymore. I'm just clicking Mock Punch. Uh, we're just going to get off a solid amount of damage on this thing, and then uh, we'll play from there. Because he's actually going to switch out into his Latias. That's fine. We don't have anything to hit this thing with, unfortunately. Uh, however, I don't think he really wants to risk Sharpedo coming in. Yeah, so he's just going to go for Defog. We're going to go for a Poison Jab. It's going to do quite a bit of damage, and I think I'm just going to go for another Jab right here. As he's going to recover up, that's fine. Uh, eventually, he's going to need to attack me, uh, so I'm just going to keep jabbing. There's the Psychic. We are a Salt Vest, of course, so down goes the Latias. I don't know why you'd be running. Um, I really don't understand the point of running um, a Life Orb on Latias when Soul Dew is available, and it doesn't seem like it has any other coverage move. We're just going to go for the T-Punch here. He's going to go for Bug Buzz and knock us out. I kind of want to keep Talonflame... Um, 
like its scale wings available, ready and available for me. Uh, not gonna lie. Let's go into two cannon. I think two cannon can take any hit from this thing, and we can just hit him up with a rock blast. Uh, and anything that comes in is gonna take a good amount of damage anyway, so we'll do that. He might sack off his, uh, his slenderous. Yep, there it is. And uh, down goes that. That's awesome. In comes Kirim. Not awesome. Uh, we're gonna sack off our Delmize. I don't need it anymore. And we'll see what he wants to go for. He does go for the Ice Beam. I really feel like this thing is choice, so I'm gonna go into Sharpedo, and I'm actually just going to click uh, Crunch right here. Uh, he does just click Ice Beam again. Beautiful. And we're gonna get off a nice Crunch on this thing. Gonna lower its defense, which means I can even stay in regular in case his, um, his Terrakion is Scarfed. Uh, as actually, no, he's still faster than us, so he is Scarfed as well. Okay, good to know. So we're going to take advantage of our uh, Gale Wings right here, uh, and we're going to go for the Brave Bird. Um, there we go, and that should knock him out. Beautiful. And um, if he goes into Terrakion, I mean, I need to bank off of a Stone Edge miss, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> That's really my only play. Uh, as he goes out into Scizor, interesting, okay. Um, what can you even hit me with? I'm just going to Brave Bird here. I'm going to do a lot of damage to this thing. Is he just going to bullet punch me? No, he goes for Pursuit. Okay. That's cool. Um, I mean, he's locked into Pursuit anyway, so I might as well just Brave Bird again. Uh, and then Tucannon has to come in. I have to hope that he misses a uh, Stone Edge, essentially, and we got to go for the uh, for the Beak Blast. Here he goes. And he goes for Close Combat, actually. I think he's... Uh, I sh yeah. I think he might be... Yeah, Choice? No? Life Orb? Okay. Cool. Uh, and I'm assuming he's going to go for another uh, close combat, and that is going to be able to take us out. So, yeah, really, really not feeling this team, Dom. I don't know, man. Uh, it's not, uh, maybe it's because I didn't build it. It's just, it's not working for me. I, I don't really like it. It's it's very slow, for one. Uh, it doesn't have anything fast on it other than Talonflame, which is like a one-hit wonder. Uh, Sharpedo can boost its speed, but it's also very, very frail. So, I really don't get the point. It's not, uh, it's not doing well <laughs> right now. But anyway, uh, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's working for him. I'd have to go check his replays. He left one in the chat. Um, I might do that at the end of the episode, actually. All right, so we get a pretty offensive team here. Uh, it's also still very fast. Like, I can't do anything about my opponent's speed tiers. That's the thing. That's the problem. Like, what am I going to do against Primarina? It's just going to knock everything out. <laughs> I'm going to lead with Delmize, actually, in case he leads with Primarina. As he does. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. We are going to go straight for the Anchor Shot. No matter what he goes into, this is a good play. It keeps it in. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing that really, like... Uh, there's Weavile, but Weavile can't switch in on, on this thing. Okay, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. This Anchor Shot's going to do neutral damage. It's actually going to do quite a bit. Uh, he's Leftovers, and his Ice Beam did that much. Wow. Okay. Um, just going to go for another Anchor Shot here. He's gonna go for another Ice Beam. Thank goodness we're Assault Vest, because I wouldn't have been able to take two of those. That thing is strong, wow. All right. So, uh, Delmai is able to get rid of the biggest threat to our team, Primarina. In comes Charizard. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Earth, uh, Anchor Shot, just Anchor Shot. I don't need this thing anymore. He's gonna go, he's gonna go, ahead, go ahead, excuse me, and uh, Mega Evolve into Charizard Y. And uh, I think I'm gonna go out into Conkeldur here, because I should be able to take any hit, minus perhaps an Air Slash. Uh, and we're just going to go for Thunder Punch. Is he's going to bring in his Needle Queen? Good call. That was really good play. Um, however, I can just go into Pillow Swine now. And uh, pretty much take this thing on, I believe. As he goes for the Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We're going to go for our own Stealth Rocks. And if he switches out, that's cool too. I don't mind that at all. There we go. There's the Zard back in. And uh, do I want to switch on this? Not really. You know what, let's just go for the Toxic. He's going to go for the Fire Blast. It's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, thanks to the Thick Fat, though, we are able to live. And uh, the Sun is now gone, meaning that I can go for an Ice Shard. And then when I come into Conkeldur, uh, I'll be able to hit something pretty hard with a Drain Punch. So that's always nice. Might just go for the Poison Jab as well. Not sure yet. Uh, Rocks Up is a little bit detrimental with our Spinner gone. He does miss the Fire Blast, unfortunately, for my opponent. And uh, we're just going to go for another Ice Shard. No reason not to. How fast is two cannon? It's 156 speed. It's so slow, dude. It's so bloody slow. It's crazy. It can't outspeed anything in this tier. Um, there's the focus blast. That's gonna knock us out. I guess <laughs> you figured that focus blast was more accurate than fire blast. All right. Um, let's just go into conk, and I think I'm just going to click drain punch at this point. 
I don't see him wanting to keep his Zard as he... Okay, yeah, there we go. Misses the Fire Blast. And we are going to be able to knock out the Charizard right there. Very nice. You might think I'm choiced or something. I'm not sure. Um, Sharpedo looking like it can clean up this game with Psychic Fangs. Uh, especially with this Needle Queen weakened. So let's make that happen right now. Let's go for the Drain Punch. He's going to go for the Sludge Wave. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. But so is my Drain Punch. Uh, I think I actually might win this 1v1. Let's go for another Drain. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. As that's going to do a good amount as well. And then we are just going to go for a... Do I keep this? I think I keep this, right? For his Weavile? Uh... No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go for Mach gonna weaken this even further he's gonna go for another sludge wave i can't see him being scarfed i cannot see him being scarfed man what is two cannon even doing this game i think i just want to knock this thing out with it now nah, we'll go into sharpedo and uh i'm gonna click protect just because i'm kind of scared of uh him being scarfed okay he's not cool 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 uh let's go for the waterfall right here no reason not to. Gonna knock this thing out. And I'm assuming Conkelder's gonna come in now. Um, good news is that Talonflame just, like, destroys this thing. <laughs> so, let's switch out into Tucannon. Who, uh, I don't know. Can it take two mock punches? Because that's definitely what he's clicking right here. There's no reason to click anything else. I have Psychic Fangs, so. Uh, no, he's gonna go for knockoff. Okay, that's fine. We have Fly MZ, so we're good. Uh, in fact, in fact... I'm just going to go for the Supersonic Sky Strike right now. We should be faster than Conk, and we might even be able to knock out Latias if he switches into it. This is a pretty powerful attack. So, and I'm assuming that he would just go into Weavile afterwards, which would make sense. Um, Weavile is not faster than Talonflame, though. Keep that in mind. Uh, there's the, uh, the Beak Blast. No, it's not Beak Blast. It's, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the way it works? Yo, that's so cool. It still keeps the property of Beak Blast that your opponent gets burned prior. That's so sick. Okay. All right, so let's go for another Beak Blast right here. Uh, he's going to hit us up with a Thunderbolt that is going to knock us out. He has leftovers, though. Okay, good to know. Uh, we'll go into Sharpedo here. We're going to click Protect. I'm not even messing around right here. And uh, I think I should be able to sweep it out. Okay, he's going to go into Conk. I don't know if he actually has the Mach Punch. Either way, I, th I think that Psychic Fangs is just my correct play here. Uh, I can't switch out into Talonflame risking like a Thunder Punch or anything like that. Let's see if he has the Mach. He does not, and Psychic Fangs is almost going to take him out. Doesn't do enough, but he goes for Knock Off, surprisingly. Uh, and we're going to go for a Waterfall. Uh, he does have the Mach. Okay, there it is. And uh, I'm pretty sure we cannot knock out uh, Latias with anything that we have. So I'm just going to... Why do you have Will-O-Wisp on this? Gonna go for Brave Bird. He's gonna go for Mock Punch. Why is he faster than me? What just happened? Oh, right, yeah, he's, he's priority, right. My bad. <laughs> I'm still used to Talonflame having Gale Wings. Gonna just go for the Brave Bird here. And uh, not knock out the Latias, unfortunately. That's 0-3 right now. We'll get another game. We're at 18 minutes. Uh, it's looking really bleak, man. I don't know. Maybe something can pull through. It's really cool. I didn't know that that's how uh, Tucannon's Z-Move worked with Beak Blast. You still get the property of Beak Blast that if your opponent hits you, it gets burned uh, in the meantime, which is really cool. I just wish this thing was faster, man. I really just wish this thing was faster. He's running max HP. I'm not sure why, because it doesn't have much bulk behind it anyway. He's running max HP, max defense. Like, what? what is this thing meant to take on? I don't understand. Um... All right, let's lead off with Delmize here against the Azelf, and we're actually just going to go for Rapid Spin turn one. Uh, if he has the Fire Blast, he has the Fire Blast. What do you want me to tell you? Uh, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Beautiful. We're going to hit him with a, uh, a nice and powerful Rapid Spin. We're going to go for Anchor Shot now because I can't see him clicking Stealth Rocks again. Never mind. All right. Uh, good thing is he can't explode, so we are just going to get off this spin right here. Uh, that's not going to hit me, bro. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Delmize. Uh, I can see Weavile coming in here. I'll just go into uh, probably Conk, actually. Maybe even Pilliswine, not sure yet. Weavile is going to come in. I am just going to go into Conk Elder. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and let's see what he does. He goes for the knockoff. It's not going to do too much. And we are going to go straight for the Drain Punch on whatever wants to come in. It doesn't matter. It's going to do a lot of damage. This is uh, Max Attack, Iron Fist Boosted. Uh, Thunderous comes in, takes 44%, as you can see. Quite a bit. And uh, we're just going to go for another Drain, honestly. He's got Psychic. Okay. Running Psychic for some reason. I'm going to go into Delmize. Now we can spin. 
because this thing cannot really threaten me unless it has knockoff, which I don't expect it to have. And we're going to get rid of these rocks immediately. He's going to go for Nasty Plot. I'm pretty sure he still can't take me out, so we are just going to go for the Anchor Shot. Strongest move right now. He's going to go for Psychic. Like I said, he can't take me out. And Anchor Shot is going to do the job. Down goes Thunderous. Beautiful. The rocks are now gone as well, which means Talon Flames Gale Wings is online. We're going to go for another uh, Anchor Shot. He's got the Pursuit. I don't know why he didn't click it the first time, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go into Pillow Swine now. And uh, this thing can't hurt me too, too badly. Uh, my checks to Keldeo are all gone, though, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I don't know if he switched directly into Keldeo, but... No, he's going to go into Scizor first. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to go into Toucanon now that I know that this thing is max defense. And uh, he's going to go for Defog, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Beak Blast. as uh, That actually has higher priority than Bullet Punch, like when it activates to burn, which is really cool. As uh, Now we're just going to go for the Roost. Um, I don't know what he would go for here. I could just Beak Blast again, so he has to be very careful about when he switches out. In fact, um, he doesn't have a good flying switch in anyway, so I'm just going to Beak Blast again. I think it's a better play. We need to get rocks back up, though. I need them up to be able to win. Psychic Fangs really helps, though. There's the Roost. Uh, there's the Beak Blast once again. And, uh, I mean, he's not really getting anywhere. I can just keep spamming this move. It has 22 PP left, so... In comes Kieran Black. It's gonna have to take a big hit right here from the Beak Blast. 38%, very nice. Gonna go hard into Pillow Swine. It's pretty much my check to this at this point. There's the Ice Beam. Does a good amount, not enough though. He is Life Orb. Uh, I don't expect him to be able to knock me out at this point. I'm gonna go for uh, Stealth Rocks. He's gonna go for another Ice Beam. And now we are going to go for the Ice Shard and put this thing in range of Crunch from Sharpedo. And we know that we are faster as well, so uh, I can actually just click it right here without having to worry about anything. How much is his scissor at? 64 and burned? Yeah, I think we win. Let's go for the... Uh, let's just go for the crunch and knock this thing out with a rate. Okay, he's... Why is he faster than us? 289 speed. Okay, so we're not even max speed. Lovely. Why? <laughs> I should have probably checked that. Um, okay, it's fine. I can still win with Talonflame. Basically, what I need to do here is U-turn. And knock this thing out with a with a basic U-turn. Then we're going to go into two cannon, and uh, I have to hope that his uh, Keldeo is not scarfed. Basically, he's going to go into Weavile. I'm not sure. Can we even take a hit? Uh, we are pretty defensive. If I go for Beak Blast, he gets burned though, so that's that's kind of important. There it is, and we are going to knock this thing out with a Beak Blast actually, which is awesome. Uh, and now he has to go into yeah, he has to go into Keldeo, and. I'm going to attempt to roost. He's going to go for Scald and knock us out. But the thing is, now I have my Gale Wings online. So even if he is Scarfed, if he doesn't switch out here, he's done, basically. Yeah, he has to switch. I guess he is Scarfed. That's the only reason he would have made that play right there. He's got to be Scarfed, right? No, he's not. Wow, okay. So we actually pick up a win with this team. Um, we dropped a little bit, so that's, uh, that's to be expected at some point. And I'm going to get one more. We're going to make it a five-game uh, five game episode. Hopefully, we can pull it back and win two. Three, two wins, three losses. I've had worse, so. Uh, plus, it's not my team, and so not like I made it. I'm still getting used to it and stuff. Good to know that the two cannon is uh, is physically defensive, and that uh, Sharpedo is 289 speed. That would have been great to know because I would have just swept him right there. It would have been very easy at that point. I'm really, uh, yeah. I did. I I should have probably checked. I really didn't expect him to be more than 289 speed. Like, it, it typically runs 285, but anyway. Alright, we got the master of UU right here, Necrozma. Um, it's not too hard for me to break down, I don't think. Hmm. I don't like that Serena, though. That Serena's looking annoying. Alright, let's lead off with two cannon. Uh, we do have a spinner. He doesn't have a spin blocker. That's nice. He's got two flinchers. <laughs> two guys, count him. Jirachi and Togekiss, both in, in this tier. Ugh, <laughs> so annoying. Alright, we're going to uh, lead off with two cannon because it is physically defensive. Takes on his uh, Serena, takes on the uh, the Galissapod as well, which is nice. I could see him leading with Jirachi, but, I mean, whatever. Uh, he's going to go into Galissapod. Uh, we are going to click uh, Big Blast right here. If he wants to hit us with a first impression, uh, he's going to get burned. So that's always nice. He goes for spikes and he's going to take a huge hit 
and he's gonna get emergency exited out so that's really cool there goes that what's really cool about two cannon is that it can burn any physical attacker uh, he's gonna go into his um, his Rotom heat though uh, which I mean Kong can take any hits I could also let this thing hit me uh, and go for a roost I think my best play is pillow swine though like by far let's see what he does he goes for trick I, I thought that was coming but like I didn't act upon it it's fine though we're gonna go for rocks get him up he's gonna go for overheat and he's actually gonna crit us and knock us out great thick fat would have saved me there but you know who needs that um all right we're going to now head out into Conkelder. and I think I'm actually gonna click Thunder Punch expecting him to switch out into like either Galissapod or Togekiss he could even go Serena, but I have Poison Jab for that on the following turn, so it's not too bad. He can constantly lower my attack with Trop Kick, though, which is really annoying. He's going to give me an Aviolite. Uh, he's going to get an Assault Vest. Uh, he's going to take that Thunder Punch quite well. I can't see him staying in here again, though. I really not. Just go for a Thunder Punch again. Yeah, he's going to Volt Switch out. And he's going to get another crit through his special attack drops. Amazing. This is fantastic. All right. Um... I don't see myself coming back in this game, guys, because of that crit, honestly. There's the Thunder Punch on the Tarina. Uh, I'm going to go for Poison Jab. He goes for Chop Kick, lowers my attack. Poison Jab's still going to do a lot, though, if Thunder Punch did that much. Yeah, it's still a very good hit. There we go. There's the Poison. Very nice. Uh, and Mock Punch might actually be able to clean him up. Uh, this is 160. This is 60. Maybe. Maybe. I don't have Defog on any. I have Delmise to spin, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's go into Delmise. Because I want to get off the spin right here. Get rid of this spike. He's going to go for the Chop Kick. Uh, he's going to get yet another crit, because it wasn't enough already. Uh, going to go for a Rapid Spin. If he has Synthesis, then he has Synthesis. It's fine, whatever. Uh, but he's going to go out into his Togekiss on a potential Anchor Shot. Fantastic. I'm going to go for it right here. We are Assault Vest, so we should be able to take an Air Slash. At least one. He's going to go for Wish. Uh, and he can't pass that out now. He's stuck in here. So that's quite nice. Uh, we're going to go for another shot. He's going to go for an air slash. And he does not get the flinch, surprisingly. And uh, now he's going to gain back some health. I can totally see him going for another wish. Uh, we are going to go out into to cannon here, I think. Is my play. As he goes for another air slash. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the rock blast here. Let's see what he goes for. Uh, I would love him to switch out into, uh, into Rotom. That would be fantastic. Just get rid of that thing early. And I need to burn the Jirachi, essentially. Like, I can still take this with Talonflame, but I need more damage off on both the Necrozma and the uh, the Rotom. That's all I need. And Sharpedo does that pretty well, actually. Now that it's Serena's weekend, though, I think Sharpedo can take this game. I said that, I've said that a lot this live, but I'm pretty sure Sharpedo can take this game, guys. He's going to go for Thunder Wave, actually. Uh, and we're going to get off this Rock Blast, which isn't going to do too much, uh, because we don't, we're not attack invested. Uh, however, he's a Wish variant. He's not uh, soft boiled, oh, not so sorry, not soft boiled Roost. Uh, so I can go for another Rock Blast right here, as long as we don't get full Parad. Um, I mean, he's gonna, he's probably going to go for Air Slash flinches, right? That's uh, that's probably the most viable play, as he is going to not get it. Wow, two cannon like breaking through every kind of hacks. Amazing, I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sack off. Um, we're going to sack off. What? Delmise? He's just gonna go for a volt switch, right? Yeah, let's go to Delmise. Whatever, it's fine. As he is gonna go for the volt switch, we will be able to live that. So it's not a sack. Not yet, anyway. Um, like I said, I need this Rotom weakened, and I need the Necrozma weakened to win. He actually goes into Necrozma hard. Okay. Um, this might be his stealth rocker since I haven't seen any yet. So I'm gonna actually gonna go for rapid spin. He goes for a totemize, okay? Um, I'm going to go for an anchor shot here, I guess. This thing can can do some some damage to me, man. <laughs> uh, he's going to go for another totemize. Okay, well I still have my gale wings online, so I'm not too scared of this thing. Uh, that also did quite a bit of damage, and that's from three nine three ninety seven attack. Uh, and Talonflame is 360, and it's um, it's about the same, uh, but mine's actually like a real stab move, so I might be able to knock him out. I'm going to go for another Anchor Shot. He's going to go for Psycho Cut. 
Uh, we are just going to go out into Talonflame because he has massively increased speed. Uh, and we are going to go for a Brave Bird right here. He's just like playing off all the hacks. Look at this. Thunder Wave. Uh, we are able to knock him out. That's great. Uh, Thunder Wave. We have uh, Air Slash, Iron Head. He's gotten a bunch of crits with this thing. He just got a Psycho Cut crit. Uh, I'm going to go hard into... Uh, I don't need two cannon anymore. The priority on Conkeldur is still nice. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. That's fine. And now something else is going to go down to Talonflame, essentially. We'll see what it is. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he goes Jirachi and he's not Scarfed. That would be fantastic. There's the Jirachi. I'm gonna go out into Talonflame. And we are going to click uh, Flare Blitz. I'm not even thinking about it. We're just clicking Flare Blitz. Galissapod has decent, a decent defense, doesn't it? Let's check. Where are you? Go Galissapod? Hello? Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, 140. That's really, really good. Sharpedo definitely can't knock that thing out. He's going to go out into his, uh, his Serena right there. I'm going to sack off Conk now. Uh, does he have the Thunderbolt is the question. No, he only has Volt Switch. Okay. So now I need to set up with Sharpedo. Um, I need to find something out real quick. Uh, I need to bring up a Calc. And I need to know if Sharpedo Mega... Uh, with a crunch, knocks out Galissapod. Uh, from the amount of health that it's at right now. Are we jolly? You better be jolly, I swear to god. 372 is a little bit less than this. There we go. 52 to 61. How much is he at? 49? Eh. I don't like those rolls. Alright. Um... Okay, no, 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 it's fine. We go into Talonflame. We hope that he doesn't have Aqua Jet. <laughs> we click Brave Bird, as he's going to go out into Jirachi, so good play. Uh, however, he's Leftovers. Okay, great. Great, great, great. He's probably Thunder Wave as well, isn't he? Probably. Uh, we're going to go for another Brave Bird. He's going to go out into his... Uh... Wow, that's two-hit KO'd. Phenomenal. Amazing. Goodbye, Ro <laughs> Uh I think Sharpedo actually just wins now. Love you, Talonflame. You're amazing. <laughs> Even in Yu Yu, you're still really good. There's the Jirachi. We're just going to go for another Brave Bird. Uh, I'm not risking my Sharpedo ever. Um, we'll see what he does here. He does go for Healing Wish. Huh. That's a little bit worrisome. Do you have anything to hit me? Do you even have anything to hit me with, though? That's the question. Because I hit you with a Brave Bird first. Do you have any form of priority, my friends? And uh, first impression doesn't count because it's quad resisted. So, all comes down to this. We're going to start the timer because we haven't done that all episode. Been pretty fast ga play pace games. 33 minutes for five games is actually pretty good uh, for my channel anyway. <laughs> and uh, I love how I named this thing goodbye. I'm going to be saying goodbye to you guys very soon. I swear, this this episode's almost done, guys. I just need to wait for my opponent to click a move. He hasn't said anything in the, in the chat either. I don't know. I don't know what he's waiting for. All I know is that he can take an attack from. Uh, well, he can't anymore. He can't take an attack from Sharpedo anymore. Okay, what's your max speed? <laughs> just so I know, so that I can just go straight for Crunch, not even playing any games. He can't go for uh, first impression anymore. So goodbye, and uh, <laughs> fitting name once again. And that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, sorry about the three losses at the beginning. I'm just getting used to the team. Um, it's not bad. Uh, it's got some flaws. I got to say, it's it's uh, not perfect. But then again, no team is. Uh, very nice, Dom. Thank you so much for letting me use your team, bro. Uh, I'll link uh, his channel in the description down below, of course, as I do with anybody's team that I use. Uh, if you guys have any teams that you want to send me, if you want to plug yourself uh, in my description, uh, definitely do that. Leave a pace pin in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.